Okay, this is how to do GitLab pages with static HTML. You may have done this with GitHub. With GitLab, it's slightly different and this is how it's done. Create a new project. I'm going to call it static HTML pages like that public create project there we go this repository is empty well I'll create a license real quick and it is a template is MIT Let's just commit that. Excellent. Let's uh, create a new file. Let's just call it index.html. And in it, I'm just going to write it works commit changes excellent let's just have a look at our project here we've got a license and an index.html which is as basic as it could possibly be next thing we do is we go again to new file and we choose GitLab CI.YML and we apply a template called HTML there it is that's the uh, YML file which will deploy the files and then we'll have a GitLab page let's just have a look at that commit changes okay it's created the GitLab CI config is valid let's go down here now to CI CD and look at the pipelines here we have something pending and that is the deployment of our page this uses shared github runners so sometimes it may take a minute or two so the page deployment has started now and we can actually look at it uh, the process of, of deployment and that it uses the docker executor with Ruby 2.5 it's been running for one minute three seconds so far Okay. There it is, static HTML pages. It's deploying three files. Job succeeded. That took two minutes seventeen seconds was quite slow I've seen it done much faster than that for larger projects but anyway let's go and have a look at it because that page should now be there so let's go down to pages in the settings tab and this page hasn't updated yet there we go congratulations your pages are served under 
this so this URL is now my new page there we go it works excellent thanks for watching like comment subscribe and share